Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, everyone. How are you today? Good evening. Hello, who's there? This is going to be the first to join us. Hello, Yinka. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Hello, King Joseph. How are you? Thank you for joining. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining this lovely, lovely Tuesday evening. Thank you, guys. How are you today? I hope you're all good. Today, we're going to discuss attributes. Mr. Sharonke, good evening. Hello, Vivian. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Hello, and Dr. Anu. How are you? Good evening. Thank you for joining me today. I'm not the only one here, as you usually, as, you, as usual. Um, I have people with me and also I have people on the phone so it's going to be an exciting one today uh, oh hello yes King Joseph you are a superstar <laughs> how are you hello Abdul good evening thank you for joining thank you all thank you very much so today we are discussing attribute mighty to be honest guys I really need your help with this attribute I know it's Dr. Sunday's attributes that we're discussing but it's not just about Dr. Sunday, it's also about how we as individuals can also develop these attributes because we think that they, the great attributes of Dr. Sunday, so why can't we have them too? So anything that we discover that is good, we, we expect also to be able to develop those attributes and um, help our, be a solution to our world. So we are attracted to Dr. Sunday for so many of his attributes and this one is one of the mighty but to be honest, I don't really know what angle to go. I have a couple of people on the phone, one of your, two of your favorite people, and also I have <coughs> your favorite person with me here in the studio. But also, I want you to engage. I really need you guys to engage with us and let us know your thoughts on this attribute. Aisha, good evening. How are you? Thank you very much. Hello, Theophilus. How are you? Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you saw my handiwork, of course. <laughs> Abdul, good evening. Thank you for joining. So, guys, I really need, need your help with this attribute. What does this attribute mean to you? You know, I hear a lot of words, and I hear the word mighty used in different ways, you know, but it's usually to do with power or it's used, it's used to do with grand or size um, on that angle. But how can we discuss it in relation to um, an attribute, something that somebody has and is showing? Um, Dr. Sunday is not the largest person, like mighty tower or mighty, but yet we think that is mighty. We thought of, his, of him as a mighty person, but um, let's discuss it in that um, angle and then how we can also develop this attribute. What makes Dr. Sunday uh, mighty? What do you think that makes him uh, mighty? What are you a mighty person as well? How did you develop this attribute for yourself? So that people like myself that don't know, maybe we will be able to learn and also try to develop these attributes. I will read out what the dictionary says. It's, um, it's mighty. And then you can also tell me what your thoughts are on these attributes. Like I said, I have a couple of people that I will call on the phone. Uh, and also, well, not on the phone, really, Skype. And then also I have somebody here. I'm going to let the person in the studio say hello, introduce himself. You know him already, but I think it's nice if he introduced himself. Um, hello. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, Aisha, thank you. So I'm going to turn the camera right now. Hi, Paul. Good evening. Uh, so you can say hello. Hello, everyone. This is ID Peter. Nice to have you on the platform. I, I want to encourage you for everyone on the platform to be to engage us. Uh, we are here to learn. We are here to also exchange uh, knowledge, uh, wisdom, and understanding together. So uh, can you do us a favor to share this uh, program to your, to your timeline and also invite your friends, your colleagues, and your loved ones? I promise you, you will not regret it because every one of us got to develop this attribute for ourselves thank you very much 
and that's brilliant you know i always love having idea around when it comes to things like this you know he knows what he's talking about already he's saying that every one of us need to develop this attribute for ourselves you know i think i would decide by the time that we finish this program yes i know that is an attribute that you love about dr sunday and it's a great attribute to be mighty but i just want to know how that kind of you know me is in the mix with our lives with our daily lives if you can just give me some hints or your ideas or your ideology about it please let me know and i think other people that are watching right now will benefit as well so i'm going to call the two other people that i have got for you so that they can also let us know their opinion so while i'm doing that let me just do a little bit of introduction okay attributes this is attribute number 28 we have 50 attributes in all and all these attributes are attributes of dr sunday that we love during dr sunday's golden jubilee 50th birthday um we asked if the audience uh, people that follow dr sunday's teachings that, that love dr sunday that what do they love about dr sunday and they gave us several several attributes and the reason why they love him um, and we collated those attributes and we put them into the golden jubilee magazine which is still available by the way guys um, we put them into this magazine and we shared it with many people and now we're discussing them one by one we are number 28 so we still got a fair bit to go and today we're discussing mighty that's the attributes that we're discussing so i've got two people online with me and um i would like them to say hello so who's going to be the first i think i'm going to ask um hmm, i don't want to say the name so who's going to be the first to say hello so you can introduce yourself without me interrupting hello ladies hello good evening everyone good evening who do we have here okay hello family my name is Fisayo. i am here Thank you. So guys, we've got Fisayo online as well. So she's going to talk to uh, talk with us or share her um, experience or her thoughts or her understanding of Mighty with us. Who else would do we? Thank you very much, Fisayo. I'm really glad to have you. I wish you were here actually, but since you're on the phone, I'm still pleased just to be hearing your voice right now. And I'm really it's looking forward. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. Thank you so much, and I'm really looking forward to your contributions on this because I know you're totally, totally, totally different in terms of your own thought pattern. So I think it will be really interesting. So who else do we have online? We have Katerina Coroni. Hello, Katerina Coroni. <laughs> How are you? Good evening, Katerina. Good evening, everyone. Good, Thank you. good, good. good. Cool. So we're going to discuss Dr. Sunday's attributes that we all love, mighty, and I'm really looking forward to your uh, perspectives on this because Kate, I know that you have so many angles of looking at things that yeah, I always find very, very interesting when you, you, when you share your own thoughts as well. So I'm really looking forward to this, but I'm just going to remind people of a few things and I'll come back to you ladies. Is that okay? Yes, okay, sure. Cool. Okay, guys, so you know now who I have. I have Kate and I have Fisayo online with me. And of course, I have ID Peters right here in the studio. So I'm excited about that and I'm looking forward to the guys. So hopefully, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to let these guys do the honors of talking. But before we start, please, guys, do you do the honors now or sharing this share 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 please patage 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 that's in french i'm not sure in in uh, russian anymore i can't remember i won't even go Pagelitis. there oh, oh what is it again pagelitis pagelitis exactly pagelitis 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 in russian that's share 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 so guys there's three ways of sharing so one share for each way so you can tag so you can tag a friend now by putting at, which is the same symbol that you use for your email, and write the names of your friends. As you're writing, typing the names, um, Facebook will populate names for you, starting with the letters that you're typing. So you can tag as many people as possible. Please do so. I really appreciate that. No space in between the at and the names. Just at and then the names. And then the second uh, share would be by just sharing and going onto your 
page or going straight to your um, home page so that other people can see what, uh, what you're watching and what you like. And if people go on your page, they'll be able to see this video and join you or watch later. And then the third and final way that I know, if anybody knows any other way, please let us know, is by inviting your friends so what do you do you click on share and you say invite and you invite people on your messenger so it will go straight to their messenger you share it with them and then they will also come uh, and join you so guys those are the three ways that i know share 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 please i love for you to do that thank you so much hello gold v good evening thank you for joining and guys let me just remind you now once and for all please not for all just once um, please guys, don't forget that all Dr. Sunday's teachings are available on YouTube, Sunday at Delage Official. That's Sunday at Delage Official. And also guys, the HMT is coming up. This is the November HMT. I haven't spoken about it much, but I know that Dr. Sunday speaks about it um, often um, during the 9 p.m. program. So guys, please, if you want to attend the HMT and you're in Europe or America where you do not need a visa to Ukraine, then this is your time to really, really consider and start making your move. And guess what? We also have a discount, a promotional offer. So the team here have decided to give a promotional offer for people who wants to come to the HMT. It starts from the 5th to the 12th of November. It's not too late for you to come. That is if you do not need a visa to Ukraine. So you can make inquiries by going to Sunday at Delaja. Uh, don't, yeah, Sunday at the larger blog, blog, Sunday at the larger blog dot com slash visit. Sunday at the larger blog dot com slash visit, or you can write directly to guest at God Embassy dot org. Guest at God Embassy dot org, and we will direct you or send you the information that you need. I think HMT is absolutely worth, worth it. If you don't know what HMT is, please pardon me. It's history makers training that's hmt history makers training so make your inquiries and if you're really really interested and you know you didn't hear what i say i just said why don't you just write hmt in the comment section and we'll get in touch with you so you can write hmt in the comment section and we'll get in touch with you don't forget we have um early bird or should i say uh the early bird uh, special discount which is 10 percent off um the uh, hmt package prices so please let's get in touch if you want to come to history makers training and if you don't know anything at all about history makers i suggest you go on youtube and just watch some of the videos and look at the experiences that people have had the testimonials of hmt of attending hmt and maybe that would give you some insight on what to expect but if you have any questions you can also email us at guests at god embassy dot org guest at god embassy dot org thank you very much so i think those are my announcements we'll just start this um, discussion on guess what mighty okay i said earlier if you're just joining us the word mighty to me i don't even use it as an attribute at all i just use it as a word that you know is such a mighty house or it lives in a mighty palace you know or you know i use it according to sizes and now I just looked at the dictionary. I'll just give a definition before I start. Uh, it says, mighty says, possessing great and impressive power or strength, especially because of size. So similar to what my definition or my understanding of mighty is, I don't know what yours is, but in terms of attributes, I haven't actually formed much thoughts on that. So I'm really looking forward to learning here today. And then uh, there's another um, definition, which is in another type of that dictionary that says something that's, that's mighty is large and powerful. I really, really resonate, the word powerful resonates with me, especially with Dr. Sunday. So yes, I would say that's absolutely powerful. But actually in my head as well, uh, I actually think that <laughs> Dr. Sunday is also very um, large, like big person. But when I look at me physically, it's just normal size. But in my head, yes, it is very large. And then mighty, um, so it says, well, then he also says mighty mouse is no ordinary mouse. It's a superhero. It's best not to mess with anyone with mighty in their name. Wow. Okay. That, that's the definition. It's quite descriptive. It says that it's, it's best 
not to mess with anybody with mighty in the name so so guys let's discuss this i'm going to start really um with the actually i'm going to start with the gentleman of course guys you know you can also contribute you can also write on write in the comment section what your thoughts are on this attribute mighty and if it's in relation with dr sunday or even something that someone you know or even yourself please let us know your thoughts and also you can call julie ngoya on messenger but put your comments down and we have three people here that to, sh to share their comments so i'm going to start with um id on the attribute mighty so id what are your thoughts what do you think about this attributes wow thank you for having me the only gentleman in the midst of all in the world <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. My goodness, God, ah, mighty. To me, everyone, every one of us, we are mighty. But the fact remains that most of us, we are ignorant of, of the power that we possess. Because according to uh, Webster Dictionary, he put, he put it this way, that mighty is a... Is a someone that is possessing might that's you you possess might but you are not aware that you possess might hmm. the greatest power in the world is a human being that has the spirit of god inside him inside her so that is the power that the world cannot, they cannot imagine, they cannot fathom, they don't understand. Because when the Holy Spirit is in the life of a believer, that is the mightiest power that the world do not know. So, to me, every everyone, we are mighty, but we do not realize the might that is in us. We can, we can do great things. Whatever we, we want to do, we can do it. We can become whatsoever we want to become. Okay, for example, do you know that if you, if you have a dream, you envision yourself, okay, this is, this is what you want to build in the future. That dream is, is, bigger, than, is bigger than you. That vision is bigger than you. Okay, let's take for for example, the architect that draw this studio that I'm sitting in now. This building is bigger than the the architect that that that, that draw this building. You see, so but he he realized that he is mighty. That he got something inside him to envision what he has been able to to envision to 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 to. to to sketch it out so every one of us we are mighty so we have to discover wow guys that's really interesting what I do have just said that every one of us we're mighty and we need to discover our um, mightiness if I can say that our strength what we have in in us and you know when he said uh, about being big and you know be giving the example of the architect um, that built this house or this uh, building, you know whatever the size he is, is is able to envision something much much bigger than him. Well, you know this is why I love this attribute because the way people come with it and their understanding is totally different from what I'm thinking, and it just opened up my mind and just add to my knowledge and my understanding. So I'm really grateful when we have these discussions. So we are all meant to be mighty we are all mighty you know whatever you think you know if we what from what eddie is telling me right now whatever we think you know ideas in our heads that are not reality um they they come small so but for you to think something and then develop it into something that is huge and it becomes big and it becomes reality that is actually bigger than you in size it shows that you are mighty too wow and you know, when he was also talking, I remember that I was saying that I don't know, I, I just often, um, you know, rarely use the word mighty. 
and when I do is also on um, um, products or items or you know things that are tangible I just say okay this is a mighty this but you know what I totally forgot that I usually pray mighty God how can I forget about mighty God you know <laughs> this is the first thing that most people use mighty in relations to is God mighty God so that alone should tell me something that this is some this is an attribute an attribute that we all need to develop and we all need to cultivate in ourselves to be mighty because our God our creator is also mighty wow I can't believe I forgot that but pardon me thank God I have got people here around me to remind me of um, how mighty or how important this is so ID I'm grateful thank you so much I'm going to move on now to one of our tell uh, uh, well can I say phone caller let me just call it phone because I don't want to call it what it is <laughs> let's say phone caller okay so our guest special guest so hello ladies are you guys there hmm ladies Oh, I know why. Sorry, hello. Hello. Sorry, I put it on mute. I didn't realize. So, oh. guys, did you hear what I said? Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, I think Fisaya will start because I can hear your voice. Um, what is what are your thoughts or your um contribution to this um this attribute mighty? Oh, thank you, Maro for the show. Thank you, thank you for accepting to come oh, on yeah. the show with me. It's a pleasure. Thanks. Hello, family. And, you know, it's nice to be with everyone today. Thank you. Uh, might is a really, really um, beautiful word because with every uh, statement or with every time it's being used is to qualify something. Mm. And of course, this time around, we're talking about attributes of Dr. Sunday Adelaide. So, for me, I, I so much appreciate the angle where um, IDP is brought it from. And it's, he is talking about what we carry, what is inside us. And that's what makes us mighty. And he mm -hmm. even talked about the ideas of how we can think things and create things just like that. And this is not far from the heart of a man. Uh, you know, it's the popular knowledge that we, we, we all know and we say, as a man thinketh in his heart, you know, so is he. Yeah. So, for me, uh, the attribute fits perfectly to qualify that to Sunday. Uh, I mean, the word mighty, the adjective mighty. If you look at uh, Dr. Sunday closely, he is a man that tries to copy God as much as he can. Mm. He works so he, he works with God so closely as much as he can that he can mirror God and mm. be like representative of God here on earth. And that reflected in two in two in two major parts of him, and that is his knowledge and his craft. Mm. You know. Uh, you, you be, when you were defining the word mighty initially, you know, when the program started, you, you, you mentioned it as uh, the power of strength, especially because of size. Mm. But this time, I would say the size of the knowledge that Dr. Sunday carries makes him mighty. Wow. And the size of his heart for God and people makes him mighty. So if you look at these two components, Anyone who carries uh, that large part, which is filled with love, because no one can know God and would not know love for God and for people. So being mighty is him knowing God so much, loving God so much, and loving people so much. That mm -hmm. is mighty. And the knowledge that he has, because he related with the one who created, of course, heaven and earth, mm -hmm. and that's God. That the Sunday works so much with God, or he is working closely with God, that he knows so much about God. And that makes him mighty in the aspect of his knowledge. And that is why you 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 know you see people who always come and want to listen to him. 
it, it provides solution for uh, national problems for life. Think of any sphere of life. He, he has identified problems and he's, he's providing solution even till date. Till date. How many men of this age would you see that has written over 350 books addressing problems? Wow, wow. On, uh, you know, on earth. So I would like to talk about him being, uh, or being mighty in, in the aspect of his knowledge and the capacity of his heart filled with love for God and people. Wow. Thank you. Dr. Fisayo, oh my God, how eloquent is that? Thank you so much. That's so beautiful. Guys, did you hear all of that? Dr. Fisayo has now even shifted us to another angle. I started about talking about um, I, this attribute, mighty, being a word that I use on size and different things without even thinking about the mind honestly i wasn't i'm not even just saying this i was not thinking that being mighty the size is not just about the physical biomass size it's also about the size of the mind and you know look at dr safari Fisayo kindly and gently have now stirred me to thinking that the mightiness of a person is not about the physical, it's also about the mind. And that's what she sees in Dr. Sunday. And furthermore, that Eve is mighty because who is the first mighty? God is the first mighty. And that Dr. Sunday mirrors God in the way he loves, in the way he behaves, in the way that he cares about people, in the way that he does his things. He, she even mentioned, who do you know, which man of his age or even in his caliber do you know that he's interested in so many things in all facets of life and is making waves in every facet, not just in one area. As a pastor, for example, he's also a national transformer. He's written over 350 books. He's um, well-known all over the world. He's a strategist. He's a thinker. And, you know, as Dr. Fisayo was saying that, I was also thinking about the seven programs that Dr. Sunday have just started putting together. This is one man that sat down and thought, okay, I can help with this. I've written so many books. I'm still writing books. And I still want to do other things. So what can I do? Let me start putting nuggets of um of videos together to help people and he started that he thought okay this is something that is going to help people let me do it you know Dr. you know dr fisaya now has actually put my head back in 360 degrees of just knowing who we're talking about and also what it means to be mighty absolutely i have a better idea than when i started so being mighty is for us and what we know is not about size alone and it's not about physical size it's about intellectual mind spirit body soul capability abilities everything put together that makes you mighty so it's not just about the size and this is in relation to what i just said as well where he said that we are almighty and he gave very good examples about why about that how we are almighty where we came from you know what we can do what we're capable of doing so i'm really grateful to these two people i think my mind is opening up a bit i'm adding to my brain cells oh my god thank you very much ladies oh well, sorry lady and gentlemen so i think we have a caller oh my god so kate you'd have to wait a little bit because we have a caller so just bear with us. Hello. Hello, who do we have here? Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. Hi. I'm sorry, Mayowa. Hello. Hi. Who is this? Who is speaking? Hi, Mayowa. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So tell us oh, your name. Let the, know, let... I didn't know. My name is Aisha and I'm calling from Maryland. Hello, Aisha. How are you? It's good to hear from you. Good. So they just are, they are our special guests today. Of course, you're also a special guest. 
So you, they know what at least what is going. Yes, so they know what's going to happen. Please contribute and tell you know share your contribution with us without any guilt. The ladies are fine. Mm -hmm. man because Jesus did extraordinary thing like a normal person like a you like a Julie like a Kate like ID like a pastor Sunday dr. Sunday pastor Sunday doing extraordinary thing somebody with a mighty man mighty mind or mighty character is a regular people doing extraordinary things Wow Wow Aisha how brilliant is that ordinary people doing all the extraordinary things this is just amazing. I think this should be a quote. Mighty. This is what the, the true definition should be. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. That's beautiful. And you know, with what you said, you know, this now put responsibility on us as an individual because we tend to um, undermine ourselves or undermine our capabilities by thinking, okay, I'm just an ordinary person. But if we put it in this definition, that ordinary people doing extraordinary things is what makes you mighty. That's beautiful. Well said. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for your contribution. Yeah, bye. <laughs> wow. Guys, look how interesting is that. That's Aisha that just called in. You see how easy it is? If you call Julie Ingoya, you can also call in and share your own thoughts on this attribute that we're discussing, which is mighty. Aisha just shared with us that mighty to her means ordinary people doing extraordinary things. How beautiful is that? And you know, that actually makes everybody equal capable because we all say, I'm just an ordinary person, I'm nobody. But now, if you know that you are also mighty because of you doing extraordinary things, and you know what? This is so true because sometimes we do see Dr. Sunday and you think, you know, actually, sometimes I wonder personally that is Dr. Sunday a person, like human. Not because it's not good, you know, sometimes when you do say that people are not human, it's because they're bad or they're not doing things right. No, in this case, it's the speed, the uh, scale, the um, consistency, the, um, the zeal that he's using to do things. I'm thinking, is this human being or maybe this is a spirit that we're seeing? Maybe really this is Jesus. I do wonder sometimes. And you know what? I've been trying to poke him for some time so that I can see some blood. You know, I think that's how you check if people are human or not. You know, if they have blood in them. <laughs> I've been trying to do it, but it's not working. Uh, I haven't actually been successful. So we'll see uh, what happens. I will let you know when I'm successful. Okay? Thank you, guys. Uh, I thought I'd just throw that in. Okay, ladies. How are you? Um, I think now we should have... Um, Miss Cathy, Mrs. Coronis, to speak. How are you, Mrs. Coronis? Are you there? <laughs> I'm here. Thank you very much for joining us. So, what are your thoughts on this? I know you've heard several people now speak on this attributes. What would you like to say? You know, amazing uh, what, I, what I heard. And uh, the first thing that I heard was from people who spoke English from their childhood. I, I'm not sure about Aisha. Uh, but uh, uh, if she spoke English from her childhood, but definitely uh, I can say that this is about Fisayo and Ivy. And also you said that um, like what you used to think about mighty is a, is about the like, size of yes. the mighty. Mm -hmm. And and at this moment I understood that you know I never had any definition for mighty wow. because uh, actually I'm not English, so I didn't have. Uh, definition for this, I don't have any uh, connection to this word, like mighty for me is just what vocabulary says, you know, <laughs> and um, so what I want to say about this wow. is that, um, let me go a little bit back to uh, Shakespeare, I, I never understood why Shakespeare was considered to be great, like, like for what, for, for one describing one young couple doing silly dramatic things. In Romeo and Juliet. Actually guys, if you didn't hear that properly, Kate is talking about Shakespeare 
and why he is considered mighty, uh, he's, he's considered great, not mighty great. So she's narrating her own um, definition of mighty because as a child in Russia, they did not speak about mighty. It's not something that is native to them. That word is not native. So I'm really, really interested to hear this. I'm all ears. I hope all you guys as well are listening. Um, this will be interesting, I can assure you. Go ahead, Kate. Okay, so talking about his fear, I couldn't understand why he was considered any great. Like, and uh, you know, when I have discovered that uh, he was lacking words when he was writing, he couldn't express himself in English, so he had to invent English, and he had invented over one thousand seven hundred words in in English vocabulary. Can you imagine this? Mm -hmm. Like words that you are using now, like you know, like bedroom, mm -hmm. like uh, gritty, fashionable. You know, gossip, those words have been invented by, by Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, talking about mighty, this word for me was not known, just like for those English people who never heard about bedroom. And um, uh, Pastor Sunday was the person who reinvented many words for us, like, uh, words like, um, uh, values or virtues for Russian uh, for Russian audience for ex-USSR uh, virtue or value is something that, that that was not a part of our dictionary. We know what uh, it it was. So, word mighty. The definition of the word mighty also came for me. It came from Pasta because you might you might see it on Pasta Sunday's page. I might have seen on Pastor Sunday's page there is a, a, a video, a short video saying, "Are you the mighty man?" Mm -hmm. And uh, there was there was a live broadcast when Pastor was saying about mighty, and he gave this definition of mighty, and this definition actually it became my understanding of what mighty because I don't know what's mighty, and uh, what what he was saying is that mighty is like it's his understanding, uh, like uh, mighty people uh, are those who stand out for any cause they believe in. Like with someone who stands out and uh, like Jesus, people like his disciples, like Paul, you know, they were not that, they, they were not considered significant uh, their time when they were living. Like most people, they didn't consider that significant. That's why they dared to crucify uh, Jesus. So they also were, uh, pre they were, uh, looking for Paul and, he, and disciples uh, to kill them, you know, because they, they didn't think that those people were valuable and mighty people of their age, but they were, and they were because they were outstanding for some cause, they were uh, standing out, uh, they were talking for something uh, important that they believed, they were fighting for this, they were trying to change the world. So this is uh, this would differentiate them from other people with same physical, mental and other abilities. Uh, uh, they might not be the most strong, they might not be the most clever, they might not be the most uh, like powerful, but uh, the fact that they decided to stand out and to say that no, this is not going to be continuing like this, uh, I have to change it, uh, this is how it should be, it has to be in the way, so this is what made those people mighty. And this is now my understanding of mighty, because this is what Pastor explained to me, like what mighty is. But you know what, dictionary also says about mighty, like, uh, something like uh, ex, uh, extra power, someone who may, who has extra power, I think, someone who has uh, who is showing superior power or strength. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yes, because if everyone is, like in the room there are 10 people who knows that something is wrong and incorrect, and only one out of them, them is standing out and standing, saying, you know guys, we need to change this, then, then it's showing a superior power or strength. This is showing that, you know what, I'm not going to confirm, I'm going to stand out. And this is a superior power and strength to stand out. So, and, and what Pastor says in, in this video, he says that past, uh, the, the uh, Bible says already that we are gods. And, and uh, um, so God gave us everything possible. We, we don't lack anything. So, and God is waiting for us to stand out. He is waiting 
for us to take our responsibilities, to take, uh, to say the word, to uh, start changing the world, to start taking, you know, uh, taking over those problems in the world, so everyone can become mighty. So it doesn't matter if you have power, it doesn't matter if you are so smart or whatever, but you are doing nothing, you are not mighty then. But if you are just regular person, just someone who can, uh, like do regular thing like everyone going to work, you know, studying in university, getting married and everything. But at the same time, you decide that some you have discovered in society something is going really wrong, really wrong. And you say that, you know what, I don't care if everyone doesn't care, I will stand down, I will change it, it's not going to continue like this, so this person is mighty. And you know what? I think that I'm surrounded with mighty people because, first of all, I see Pastor. He's always standing out and he's saying, saying that no, it's not going to be like this. With this series, when, what he is doing now, when he is exposing the wrong things in the church, you know, and he's the only one who is doing this, uh, like to such extent, you know, like really. This is what differentiates him, and this is what makes him mighty. This is what you can say, mighty, you know. Okay. And uh, any anything that he is, he sees wrong, he takes responsibility for it, and he makes everything possible to change it. Brilliant. And, yeah, brilliant. This is brilliant. What makes Kate, him look mighty. at Kate. Oh my God! From every angle, you're just throwing all the dots in one place. You know, that's a lot of information that you've given us. And I just want to pick out some of them so that, you know, we can really um, understand uh, what Kate is saying, um, or maybe not even understand, but so that we can really make very good use of this information. First of all, Kate, it was such a surprise for me that um, in Russia, the word uh, mighty is not even in the vocabulary. But then no, you no, went it's, on... not, it's not in Russia. It means that in our daily vocabulary. Yes. Okay. I like I don't use the mighty word. I don't say, "Wow, you are mighty" or something like this. Okay. Like, but it's in, it's in the Russian vocabulary, right? No, not not a daily. Let's say not a daily. daily you know the daily vocabulary where. Okay. You, All right. Yeah. Okay, well, um, it's not something that is common to you that you use on a daily basis. And then you mentioned about values and virtues as well, and how Dr. Bot Sunday brought that to the consciousness or to the consciousness of you know most of the people here in Russia. You, that, I found that really, really interesting. But you know, your angle, I think now, is the same or similar to what Aisha is saying and also what I do is also saying, and actually he's connected to what Dr. Tisaya also said, but let's pick it from Aisha's point of view where he's saying, she was saying that it's from uh, being mighty, her definition is ordinary people doing extraordinary things. You mentioned that as well in your own description and your own um, explanation where you're saying that if you have intelligence or you have everything but you're not doing anything about it, it doesn't mean that you're mighty, it just means that you know, you're just there, you know, so even having the knowledge, I think you make it more descriptive by saying the doing is what is important, you know, doing things, just like Aisha said that, doing ordinary things, ordinary people doing extraordinary things, that's what makes them mighty, and you also said that, you know, somebody that is intelligent, maybe he's not even an ordinary person, but if they're not doing um, things extraordinarily well, or they're not doing Things that other people, um, uh, if they, you gave the example here, if you're in, uh, 10 people are in the room and one person saw something is wrong and said something, that person, in your own view, is the mighty one. It's not like the people, not for their size, not for what they have or anything, is because they were able to demonstrate. So there's action. For me, I'm learning that there's action in being mighty. So mighty, as in my definition, as a young person, saying that something is mighty or this is wow, or this is big, this is huge, you know, mighty this, mighty that, is not about size, it's about doing. And that is the important thing here that I'm getting from um, everyone that is speaking. So you could even build, some, build something that is much larger than you. You could build something that, you know, surpasses you, you know, that lives after you. That's what makes you mighty. You talked about Shakespeare. 
and you know he couldn't talk he couldn't make words in english that make sense to him so he started inventing words to make put his own words together and now his words is used in such a prestigious way um and all the other things that you mentioned about you know being mighty is really interesting guys if you're out there you have an opinion about this or you want to say something um or you have also um your own um, story to share about what you think mighty is or your experience please do so we really love to hear from you i really love to hear from you because i am just a little bit richer mentally for what i have heard now or let's say intellectually for what i've just heard here and you know what? It's just related so perfectly to what um, he says here because you know what? As you guys are speaking, I started remembering words that I use with mighty or that heard with mighty. And there's um, this one that we all know mighty men of Vela or mighty woman of Vela. And then I googled that just to check what that means. It says uh, to fight these enemies, God called and empowers men to be mighty men of Vela. Gideon is one such example. The Lord is with you, you mighty men of Vela. So this is really interesting for me to hear that God empower people and calls them mighty. You know. So if we go back to what we've been saying over the last um, few days when we're talking about values and what you got in you, what God has packaged you with. So it also relates to what um, I started with by saying that we are all mighty. We just need to discover that. Because if God have already even said that your mighty men are better and equipped you and God is the one that created us and equipped us, it actually is the uh, confirmation that we are all mighty. But in order for us to demonstrate our mightiness, we have to, in order for us have our mightiness to, um, to, um, to resonate or to be shown in the world, we have to demonstrate it by taking actions, by doing something that we believe in, by believing in something itself, because it's important that you believe and then you do. Um, so the doing is really important. So Evelyn is also saying, mighty woman of Bella. Thank you very much. So I really appreciate that, Kate. I'm going to go to Kate, um, to ID, but I'm going to go back to ID very soon. But before I do so, I want to read some of your comments. I haven't seen many, but I really love guys if you guys would put your comments here so that we also know that you're engaging with us and you're following this um, this um, thoughts that we're sharing with you. And also, by the way, I also want to know what you're thinking so that I can also learn from you. Thank you very much. We have Evelyn here saying that mighty woman of Bella with love in colorful um, uh, heart shapes. And then we have she say great. Evelyn again says mighty is in the doing love. Thank you very much. Yes, that's what I have just discovered. The mighty is indeed in the doom. And then Aisha says, hey, good job. Thank you very much, Aisha. I appreciate it. And then Baba Toka says, audio is not very good, please. Oh my God. I'm so sorry um, that the audio is not very good. Let me see if this would help. If I just remove. How is it now, Baba Toka? I hope the audio is better now. Please check it out and let me know if it's a little bit better. And then Aisha, thank you very much, Aisha. Uh, thank you, thank you. I think she's just agreeing with me here. Hello, Big Mommy. How are you? Thank you for joining. Hello, Mrs. Mr. B. How are you? I hope you're not missing someone too much. Um, hello, Izu Chuku. How, how are you? Good evening. Hello, Pastor Clement. How are you? Thank you, Justine. Omonike, good evening. Albertina, good evening. Jane, how are you? Idera, good evening. Thank you. Olamide, good evening. Lisasi, I think that's David, good evening. Thank you. Apute, good evening. Thank you all. I think I've said every, hello to everybody that I can see here. So guys, I'm going to, um, to turn the camera to I.D. Peters and he's going to also give us his um, last thoughts before we close this evening on this attribute that we're discussing today, which is mighty. We've had several definitions and we've had several meanings for us as individual. And also some people have put their comments and we had a call from Aisha, which I find really interesting. She said in this word, mighty to her means ordinary people doing extraordinary things. I don't think I'll ever forget that. I'm really grateful, Aisha. So guys, let's keep this coming. I'm turning the camera right now for ID Peters. Okay. Hello, everyone. 
I'd like to thank everyone that has contributed from <coughs> Dr. Pisayo, Kate, and Aisha. Thank you for your wonderful contribution as well. I was learning uh, as well. Thank you so much. I want to, I want to analyze something. I want to take your mind back to something. And I really want you to pay attention to it. Because if you can pay attention to it, you can discover it yourself. You can discover the mightiness that is in you. Check in your Bible. Anytime God sends a messenger to, to an individual, just check the first salutation that God will salute that individual. Starting from Moses or to Gideon, we call it, the salutation is always thou mighty man. Thou, thou mighty man. To marry, to marry the mother of Jesus, oh, oh thou woman, you are highly favored. And so there is something that they did not realize that they have the mightiness of God in them. So never forget that, that you have the mighty, the mightiest something that is living in you. And also, according to the definition of Aisha, which she said that mighty is ordinary people doing extraordinary things. That talks about Attitude. It talks about attitude. But what is the attitude? Attitude is attitude is the way of you, the way you behave, the way you think. Now let's let's focus on lion. The lion is not the strongest animal in the bush. He is not the the wisest. He's not the tallest. He's not the fattest. But every other animal. You use them as, as lunch. What makes what makes lion different from every is because of his attitude. So that is what how you should behave, this attitude that God is in you. So all those dreams, big vision that that is that you have in your mind, just believe that you are able and capable to bring it forth. And that is, that is uh, the wisdom of God. Paul says that, that it is the wisdom of God to use the lower things of this world so that, so that he, God will mesmerize the wise. So it was wisdom of God to hide the spirit inside you so that when you manifest your mightiness in your gift, in your purpose, in the area of your calling, the world will say, only God would have been the only person that can do this. That is why the Bible says that, that there is nobody can receive anything good except it is from above. So, great mighty man, mighty woman, I want you to believe that mighty man and you are a mighty woman. Don't think less of yourself. Go and accomplish those dreams that is inside you. Go and pay any price to bring forth those dreams. I celebrate your mightiness and I celebrate what you he will accomplish in life. Wow. OMG. I feel like calling um, ID, Dr. ID as well. But he doesn't like it when you do that. He doesn't care much for titles. But that was amazing. Actually, not doctor. I want to say Professor ID. Professor ID. Anyway, guys, that's brilliant. that was brilliant. I love it that, you know, you have this mightiness in you. What gives you strength if it's are your actions, is what you do, what is already in built in you, and that is from God. 
and you already have it so you just have to till it you have to dig or dig it out so that the world can see your light and shine this is amazing um so guys i actually saw another definition because i was looking at this mighty man of valor and then i found something here that i thought i'll read to you before i let the lady speak and where we close then we have this it says mighty men of valor have the have three distinct characteristics and it says strength courage and passion so all mighty people so it's not just men i think they just mean using men um, as the figures also women so men and women have three distinct characteristics and they are strength courage and passion strength courage and passion for me that's real food for thought i really need to think about that but i don't need to think too far i know in terms of strength absolutely um somebody that i know very well well i know to some extent I, every time i say i know somebody very well there's something that cautions me to say mm -mm, you know them to what you think you know okay so dr sunday from what i know of him that's correction there i know that strength oh my god he's got them in abundance you know sometimes i always ask him you know with everything that's happening and how everything is going how can you just stay balanced he's never emotional like you know emotional in the sense that the emotion doesn't actually um dictate to him so whatever is happening out, out in the world does not dictate how he reacts so he has his reaction he reacts the way he wants to react but it's not going to be based on what is happening around him or what is happening or what people are saying or what people are doing it's going to be something that he does from the inside out and he's the person that taught me that you have to act from the inside out you don't allow people or allow things around you to dictate to you how to behave for me that is absolute strength and again if i go by this explanation that says that in order for you to be mighty there are three characteristics which are strength courage and passion so that's number one i learned that everything i learned from him that everything about you has to come from the inside out it's not from the outside in don't allow the outside to dictate who you are to you i mean and that really helped me he helped my world he helped me to make decisions he helped me to live well with peace with people because i now start to take i start to take a responsibility for myself for my action it's not based on what somebody says to me so i used to be somebody that said oh this is pissing me off that's pissing me off so i wake up in the morning not having any bad mind or any negative thoughts i'm happy then all of a sudden something happens and then my mood changes and then when he told me that i just got grip of it i held on to it and i started making use of it that i everything has to be from the inside out it's not from the outside so it doesn't matter what somebody comes to tell me what news they give me you know, my responses and my actions would be from my inside out I take that control because I am mighty. I have the strength, I have passion, I have the courage. So that's what I learned. I just thought I'll share that with you. But I'm going to let the ladies take the last words. So I'm going to turn now. I think we should have Fisayo to speak because she's been so patient. So Fisayo, are you there? Can you say something? Oh yes, I'm here, Mayora. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess I should say my last uh, few words on the program today. Uh, sincerely, I've learned so much from everyone, from Ivy, from Kate, from that beautiful, simple definition from Aisha, and from you, Myra. Thank you. You know, um, God has built us in such a way that we complement each other mm. because God is so big that uh, no one person can carry the whole totality of God. Mm. And uh, this attribute today, I don't want um, someone, just, just perhaps someone might misunderstand it. Oh, why are you talking about Pastor Sunday? Oh, is this not what he's saying we shouldn't do? Okay, the program is, is set up to encourage us yes. to be our best. If Pastor Sunday has uh, discovered this attribute and held on to it, that people, he is not calling himself mighty, but the fruits that he is bearing are mighty. Mm. So, wow. if, we, if we want to bear such fruits, fruit, we should not say, oh, God is too far.
Papa, I didn't live in the days of Jesus. I didn't meet Peter one and one. I didn't have the handshake or hug phone. But there is someone, you know, today that has you know, that is bearing that fruit. And we can look at how he is doing it. You know, Paul was very careful that he said, okay, if you think God is too far to copy, okay, follow me as I follow Christ. That's just what this program is about. And each and every one of us should, um, should cultivate the attribute, the quality of being mighty. And how do we evaluate? We don't just wake up and say, oh, I'm mighty. Of course not. Mm-hmm. Our fruit, by their fruit, you shall know them. By my fruit, you shall know me and I shall know myself. So I should learn to understand of my place in God and what God intends for me. Because if we are created in God's image and God is mighty, God would not create something less because of his image. He has created us with the potential of being mighty. So we should come to the awareness of what we are. And I like that was the first beautiful idea uh, um, I to Peters gave and he said, we just don't know. Most people are not aware that they are mighty. Hmm. But they are already mighty. No, that seed is there. God creates everything thing in seed form. So Pastor Sunday has discovered that and is harnessing it, maximizing the use of it, and is bearing mighty fruit that we can point to him and say, oh, that is a mighty man. So also I can do it. You can do it. Anyone who will discover God, walk close with God, understand God, walk in the light and the knowledge of God, will be mighty. And that potential seed of being mighty will definitely bear mighty fruit, which the end result is to glorify our Father who is in heaven. That is one step past the Sunday we never skip. Everything he does is always referring to glorifying God who is in heaven. So we're not just being mighty just to feel good and, you know, get titles or accolades and, you know, our words, but is to glorify our Father is in heaven, that let our light so shine before men, that they will see our good works, our mighty works, our mighty fruits, and glorify our Father who is in heaven. So thank you everyone, thank you so much Maya for having me, thank you so much. Thank you Dr. Kisayo, thank you so much for that, that was really compelling, um, relating us as usual to God, to the kingdom, um, this is just brilliant, it's just music all to my ears. And for those who are wondering why we're discussing this about Dr. Sunday, it's not just about Dr. Sunday, it's also about us as individuals developing this attribute mighty. It's something that is already in us, but we have to demonstrate it and show it forth so that we can um, make our Father in heaven proud. Brilliant, Dr. Uh, Dr. Kisaya, thank you very much. So Kate, what have you got to say? Well, I would like to thank you, Manu, for choosing exactly this uh, attribute for today. It's very inspiring. From what I heard from uh, people who were talking on this talk show, it was really uh, adding value to me so much. And uh, I've been inspired very much that uh, I actually am a mighty person. (laughs) (laughs) I am a mighty person because the mighty God is in me. And I understood that I just uh, have to do outstanding things uh, so, so that, uh, you know, people will discover God and, and they will discover, you know, his love and everything he gave me, I can give to other people. And uh, thank you. That's, uh, that is uh, all I wanted to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Kate. That was really good. Um, you, and, you know, Kate, you're not just speaking for yourself. I think from what you said, I, you definitely speak for me in terms of me feeling more uh, feeling mighty now. I mean, I didn't start feeling mighty or even using um, mighty to even describe myself or know anything about what I have inside of me to be mighty and that I am mighty. And now, you know, having that knowledge has actually empowered me. I have somebody here, I've been bothered saying that I think it is the way God sees us. Therefore, we should begin to see ourselves the way God sees us rather than the way the world sees us or the way we see ourselves, which could lead to low self-esteem. I mean, that's a very, very good point Abin Bola has made there. Because sometimes if we look at ourselves the way that we see ourselves from our knowledge and our understanding, 
you would really have a poor performance of who we are because we would only see our limitations. But if we see ourselves the way God sees us and we believe God, our creator, and we like him as our creator because, you know, you, you know, like attract like, so should I say he builds us or so obviously we him he builds us in his own image. So we should always, always see ourselves the way God sees us. I appreciate that comment. Thank you very much, Amin Walla. And then we have Aisha says strength, courage, and passion. Absolutely, with terms of those are the um the three um I think should I say the three parts of being mighty, if that's a word. Uh, this if that makes sense. Chingwe says Pastor Sunday is the lion king of the jungle. Absolutely. I mean, if this world is ever a jungle, it's absolutely king of that jungle. And you know what? He doesn't have to be the only king in this jungle. We can all be king and queens in this jungle. But I appreciate that, Chinwe, and I totally understand what you're saying and agree. Thank you very much. Um, we have here, the, okay, um, the, okay, I've been well, I'm saying that it's better, but it's breaking. I'm sorry about that. I hope it will be better. Um, the recording will be a lot better. So ladies and gents, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys um, on the phone for joining us. I also appreciate you, ID, for always honoring our invitation. I really, really appreciate it. Ladies, you, you know, I would, I'm so glad today because I didn't feel alone and I didn't feel like I have to be the only one talking, talking, talking. So guys, if you also want to join me, you can write to us. You can write to um, either myself, Maya, or Olaya if you want to join in any of the programs you're welcome or you can write to julie in goya that if you, you know i want to join i want to contribute i want to be your guest today on the program why not we let you come on and we have our discussion live on facebook dr sunday at the largest page and of course guys you know all programs goes on youtube sunday at the large official so feel free to explore sunday at the large official on facebook i'm sorry youtube and secondly guys I told you earlier when we started the program that we have a special rate or should I say special discount for people who still want to come on, come to HMT, that's History Makers Training here in Kiev, Ukraine. If you don't need a visa, then this is for you, you might want to consider this. And I would ask you to please go on Sunday at Radio Official to see previous HMT and see what people are saying and the benefits that they're gaining from it. Just watch it, you will find a playlist that says HMT. Watch it and see what it's like, just so you have an idea. We have one that is coming up soon, which is the 5th, from the 5th to the 12th of November. So you're invited. Um, there you can go on Sunday Adelaja official. You can go on Sunday Adelaja blog, Sunday Adelaja blog dot com. Then you have slash visit, where you would find a form to um to make your inquiries and you'll see what are uh, the details of hmt on there or you can write directly to guest at god embassy that's guest at god embassy dot com so go no sorry dot org i don't know what's happening guest to me concentrate focus be here right now that's what the sunny would say so that's guest at god embassy dot org so write to guest at godmc.org. Yes, that's the email. And if you want to go onto the website, where you will find the form that you need to fill out in order for us to um, um, to get in touch with you, then you can go onto sundayadelajablog.com slash visit. So HMT History Makers Training, you are all invited. And there's a special discount um, for, should I say, early bird or late bird? Um, because it's next month, so it's from the 5th to the 12th of November. We look forward to seeing you, as many people as possible, for these few days of intensive training. Please join us um, and go on the website to check it out because you would have a better idea from them. And if you have any questions, of course, you can ask me, Mayawa Olaya, or you can actually write your comment on Dr. Sunday's page, and then we'll get back to you. Thank you so much for your time. Dr. Sunday will be back. He's going to continue his um, teaching on spiritual attack and something about Satan and you know I think it will be very very interesting especially for those religious people that think Satan is their problem or any problem that they have is related to Satan this is the one for you so I look forward to seeing you later on that's 9 p.m. Ukraine time but that's actually 7 p.m. in UK and 7 p.m. in Nigeria 
as well so we look forward to seeing you that's in less than an hour now that's actually in 49 minutes so we'll see you again i appreciate you for joining me i will see you again tomorrow for another program i'm not sure what the program will be but i will let you know am i going for the poster up a banner up on that ladies guys i thank you thank you thank you thank you much very much i'm bowing down and then also i do thank you Okay guys, we'll see you soon. Take care and bye.